Well, hello there, Rimroms. It's Ramworld. Rimrams. Doug is the main character now. Frog has been relegated to main character, but not quite as main as Doug. And today in Doug's town, we're going to get him that Mechanator upgrade that I think the man deserves. We're going to use his mech power to summon a mech threat. We're going to summon the Diabolus, apparently. And to be honest, I don't care about many of the benefits we'll get from becoming an Ultra Mechanator. I just want to get him the fancy helmet that'll make him look like a mechanoid peacock. <laughs> <laughs> now before <laughs> before we fart stuff far <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ before we fart stating the me no am I okay before we start fighting the mechano boss monsters I owe this colony an apology someone's got to say it someone had very correctly pointed out that even though I had unsubscribed for it from the Steam Workshop the combat readiness check was still active in the mod list for those of you dirty little Randy Remus who don't know what that is combat readiness check is a mod that determines the combat strength of raids based on your own combat skill as in how many turrets you have how well equipped your colonists are what type of guns you've got whereas in the base game the actual buildings that you have the furniture that you have contributes all to raid wealth I like building big ridiculous cities I have it for things like Jerusalem where I build a great big Egyptian inspired city and don't really think that the raiders should be empowered by the fact that I have a frigging sphinx. If I want a sphinx, Ludion Studios, I'm going to have a bloody sphinx. I shouldn't be clapped for that. So to cut a long story short, I have removed that. However, we did spend the majority of time yesterday getting charge weaponry. Now I'm going to stick to the base game charge weaponry. I know that there are other charge weapons here. I have vanilla weapons expanded solely for the tools so that we could build the city faster. That was, that was the whole point of this. So we could dive into the biotech stuff. So I'm going to avoid the non standard base game stuff. We'll stick to charge rifles and charge lances and you know, base game stuff. I guess we'll just make like three of each for the time being. That'll probably do it. Now to be fair, I think we're kind of on top of the resources at this point. All it took was deep drills and deep drills and deep drills and then randomly getting very good new recruits who are very good and new at mining. Very good at mining. Not new at mining. They're fairly old at mining, in fact. But we don't have plasteel, and we do need those to make quite powerful weapons. Have we scanned any up? No, it's been exclusively steel and silver right now. So let's go ahead and flip over these lovely things to some plasteel for a while. Is there any other research I want? We did get tech prints for skin hardening I could queue up, and I think we've also got brain wiring there too. Um... I'm not really that bothered by anything else. I think we're in a fairly all right place. I suppose we could start going for some of the big stuff like marine armor, recon armor. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's pretend nothing happened there. Rocket swarm launchers? That's base game now? Apparently so. Uh, added by Rimworld. Okay. I was going to say maybe we should try to get some better turrets too, like uranium slug turrets, for example. That would help out against gigantic mechanoid threats. But I guess I'll also queue these up and take a look. Foam turrets. I want to try everything that's been added new to the game. Filthy animals. Genes have finished regrowing. That's good. Lots of people are saying there's a mod that you can get on the workshop that will automatically harvest genes from people when their genes have regrown. I, I want to do things a bit more manually this time around to get a better feeling for it. Doug, where's your mechanical eye gone, big man? Uh, hold on one second, please. Ah, uh, there we go. Is it just me or does he look very, very pale today? What's going on with that? Doug, are you okay? Uh, yeah, no, Militar's in the room. You know what that means? Disgusting people. Doug, the mechanoid pervert. I'm not going to call him Mechanator. I'm going to call him Mechanoid Pervert from now on. That's his official title. He's interested in mechanoids, but like a... A little bit too interested. Colony groups is fixed now, so I can drag our people around. I've, I've organized them based on... Zeno type, I think it's called. Uh, whether or not they're like, you know, waste people, pig people, dog people. Here's my next question. If Umberto is so deathless, what happens if I chuck him in the machine to take his genes? So his genes before they regrow will kill him. He can't die. He's deathless. It says it right there. Don't lie to me. As long as the brain remains intact, the carrier of this gene will never die. Is this for science? I mean, he's a very good deep driller, so it would be a shame to lose him, but simultaneously, I mean... <sighs> I've got to test it for signs. It says deathless, but then simultaneously this says very much it'll kill the guy. I've got to try it. I've got to try it. This is for science. Sensible assumption is that the guy will die. Because that, that's what happens when, when we first had the, the first vampire, right? We planted its genes into frog, it killed them. So I presume vampires are deathless unless you rip out their vampiric genes, at which point it probably would do them in. Uh, okay, um, maybe back off very slightly. Back off slightly. We're producing new guns soon. Just got to hang on for a little while longer. Just, you're just going to have to put up with the crap. Whoa, that's a lot of mega scarabs. 
Hold your ground. I mean, we can't. What are we gonna do? Run and gun? Not anymore. That's illegal, apparently. Dog's beating them with his hammer. Oh my god. Oh shit. That's a lot of people. Uh, be careful with those fire grenades. In fact, you can just piss off entirely, actually, because you're gonna burn the whole base down if you're not careful. Oh, thank God for that better hospital. Okay, okay. Line up here. Frog's down. She is deathless, as we've discussed many times, so maybe she'll be okay. Um, wow. Frog got shredded more than anybody else there. Good God. What a mess. Maybe it's not worth it. But maybe that's the only way we've got to get steel. <laughs> if only there was some other way. Some other illegal, non-base game method of getting all the resources we could need. Sadly for our people, this is a, this is a mostly vanilla playthrough, so enjoy getting chomped on by mega spiders. Medical treatment needed, really. <laughs> really? I hadn't guessed. Auto cannon turrets. There we are. I mean, not that we can build any yet, because we've uh, got a bit of a dearth of resources, if I haven't mentioned that. And... It works? Wait, it works? I can just throw him back in. I guess he truly is deathless then, huh? And to clarify, the only reason I'm doing this is because I read it in the comment section yesterday. Somebody said that you could just keep throwing the vampires in. I didn't know if they meant with this mod pack or whether or not it's a base game thing, but I don't think there are any mods right now that are going to be conflicting with it. I'm not using um, death rattles in the mod pack originally. I'm not using that anymore. Oh, this is very broken. And we got Tox Immunity, which is very nice. I think we may have just propelled this colony into the most evil colony there ever possibly could be. Or at least has been on this channel currently. The legless blood bags trapped in, a, in an office cubicle block is one thing. But enslaving a hyper-evil vampire, convincing it that our hyper-evil vampire is the, is the true god emperor, and then strapping it permanently to a gene extraction table to exploit its inability to die is pretty messed up. But then we've also got something, we've also got like a school. <laughs> That's like a nice school for the children. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where this one is morally. A bad place for sure, but um, this though. Mighty Vic, what do you think of alien conspiracies? Ask the vampire to the frogman. Last deal. I mean, it's, I couldn't be any less convenient if you tried. That's uh, basically as close to the edge of the map as it can get. Everybody's complaining that they're recreation deprived, and actually, now that I think about it for more than one second... Yeah. Yeah, the only recreation we've got in the entire colony is, um... <laughs> it's all shoe pins. <laughs> Oops. Um, maybe we quickly swap those over. Maybe we quickly swap those over and try and get flat screen televisions a little sooner. Ooh! Green hair! That's not really what I expected to get out of our of our vampire genetic slave, but that's okay. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get a little Ice Wolf to load him in. Really show Ice Wolf the horrors that come with being in this colony. Well, that's officially made it worse. Getting the children to uh, coordinate it. Yep, that's taken it to a whole new level. A whole new lower level. Need recreation variety. Boredom. Well, you've got horseshoe pins. What's your problem? Let's try and get cool back out of prison. You know what? Let's try and convert you over because you're a genie and I need people on the scanners as soon as possible. 53%. We've got a 17% chance of instantly converting her at that level. Good luck. Lay her down on the meeting room table. <laughs> well, Nath has given up. Flight has given up. They've just decided to go batter the walls. Don't break that. You're, uh, you're going to prison. Uh, Roan, deal with Lanath. Yeah, leave, leave, leave the conversion ritual. Arrest Lanath. Right, are you good? Are you chill out? Don't break anything. Oh, you count as a fucking prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, okay, release, there you go. And boom! Oh. Thank you for that one. Back up to 100%, eh? Why are you so unbreakable? There's been like four episodes now! Are you sure they're actually set to- Yes! Yes, I'm sure! It's a big, big egg head. <laughs> you really do look like an egg. What are you doing? Oh, you're in here sucking out the blood. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I, I just too smart. But I can't convert them over. Oh. Green hair again. No, I don't think you understand. Have we sucked out all of his genes? Is that the problem? Oh, we have sucked out all of his genes. Oh. Oh. So now you're just Umberto, the fairly useless fella. Oh. Well. Okay. I suppose we'll get you back to bed. We suck, we suck the vampire right out then. <laughs> That's absolutely hilarious. Ice Wolf, you're on Umberto duty. Get him back to bed. Cold. That is cold. That is so unbelievably cold, Ice Wolf. Wow, we've really found a new level to take it to, huh? You're gonna draw scrawlings all over Umberto's floor to drive him even madder. 
What a fall from grace, my god. Tribute collector, ooh. Um, we could give them Umberto. <laughs> oh, we can't, because they're not a prisoner. I mean, we could, though. Um, Flamingo, cool Coolbacker, you want some gold? How much would you give me for that? You give me four favor. Uh, how about you favor these nuts? That's a ridiculous suggestion. They won't even take him. Really? Why? Because he's, like, because he's into gene loss shock. Huh. Well, I'll have to find some equally sad ending to you, my friend. We could just stuff him in a nutrient paste dispenser. That would do it. How are we doing with the charge rifles, anyway? You've already made two. Well, I gave one to... I gave one to Damon. And then you've got another... You've got another one right there. Holy crap. Thank you. Oh, that's going to throw me off every bloody time. Uh, here. William, incapable of combat. I'm going to trick you actually right at the end, then. Uh... Yeah, you know what? All the characters I don't want to fight can go to the end of the list. Are you any good? No. Are you any good? No. Are you any good? Yes, but you got to chain shotgun. I'm going to swap those out. My two Vix genes have finished regrowing. Right. Start stuffing people back in the pods, then. We'll start with flight, and I guess we'll move over. Get in. Go. Roan, you're also ready. Get in the gene extractor. Do another round of gene extraction on absolutely everybody, and then maybe at that point we'll be ready to fight this, this mechanoid boss. Whatever the hell it is. I think we should wait on that, uh, at least that final charge rifle to pop out, because I'd love to give one to Mighty Vix, he's got very good shooting skill. Finally, recreation. <laughs> um, I'll put one of those in everybody's house. Why not? 16 frigging components? Good God. Um. Pfft, wow. Uh, honestly, it's not really worth it. It's 20% joy gain factor over the tube television. I'm happy to give it to Doug and Ming and Frog, because they're like, you know, they're like, our, they're like our people, but everyone else can p piss off. You can have a regular boring TV. There. Oh, you mean I've got to put down the corporate poker table again? I said we're not allowed to do that. That's against the rules. Um, where am I going to put that? <laughs> put it in the, yeah, we'll put it in the stop, in, in the kind of workroom to discourage... Too much, too much distancing themselves from work. I'm getting bloody cloth black now. Yeah, I'm really starting to feel like this isn't, this isn't working. I just wanted to design the perfect person, and you are, you've given me shit to work with here. Well, in you get. Enjoy. Oh, I should probably double check them first. I, th I think everybody's ready to go again. Are the, are the bad genes worth anything though? Can I, can I at least sell them for a little bit? Uh, what have we got? This kind of crap here. Pig nose. Sells for three hundred a piece. It's at the end of the day, it's free money. Even the crap jeans sell for 300. What about like the good jeans? Still sells for 300, really? Oh, Toximmune sells for the same. Maybe you can't sell them? I just, I just, I just, I just get the impression that the, I thought we're not really cut out for the, the whole bioengineering this colony. It can be crazy, but this has just been real shit. I feel like we like, okay, to be fair, let's take a look at the pig colonists here. What have they got? Reduced pain, strong immunity, strong stomach, robust digestion would be all I want. So really, we've only got like a, like a, like a two in seven chance of getting something good. Oh my god. The vampire becomes the hemogen farm. Take his legs. Take his legs. Wouldn't that be a nice ironic end to the story of Umberto? Never to look at him again. That's all he gets, just to be forgotten in this cubicle. Surrounded by the echoing screams of half a dozen other people being used as glorified blood bags. I don't want him on the colonist bar, though. Can I just release him? Um, can we just, can we just kick him out and then, and then capture him again? Will that work? Probably should have done that before I took both of his, we'll give him one peg leg back so that we can release him. Ooh, and an exotic goods trader. Hello. Ah, <sighs> nope. No, I'm- I'm okay. I'm okay, thank you. Bionic stomach for dog. Yes. No, we- we can make those. We don't need that. I have a question. Can we sell them gene packs? Can, if I just throw down, like, an orbital trade beacon, which apparently are a thing in the game now, who could have believed that, huh? If I throw one of those down, I wonder if they'll buy all the crappy genes that I don't really want to keep too much. Obviously, we'll keep a few to counteract some of the other stuff. No, they won't even buy that. Wow. Um, take these nine legs and get out of my sight. I'll take some plastic, because I got a lot of guns to build. Thank you. Much appreciated. So at this stage, we've completely finished all the charge rifles. We've got one for Damon, one for Filthy Animal, one for Mighty Vic. I think... Maybe we can call them in? Oh, God. Oh, this might be a gamble. I've expanded the kill box down, too, to kind of match the maximum range of their guns. 
So Doug's only got obviously a uh, regular rifle at this point, but we can we can more than reach the end of the kill box. It's not very good, but I can't really extend it without uh, encroaching on Frog's thing. I mean, obviously I could build it down here instead. That would make a bit more sense. Let's just call it in. Let, let's just call it in right now. This is where I press the call in button and it says it'll be here in four days. Um... We'll arrive in the next few hours or days. Are you ready to fight? Yeah, I suppose I am. One Diabolus, three Militors. Okay, and then you go and trigger the comms console to summon the thing. Oh, so we just just be ready at any point then. All right, fair enough. Well, go back to bed. Oh, very spooky. I tried to buy your mech band signals. An ultra heavy mech from Yorthmerd Mech Hive will arrive soon. Be prepared. Dog is more than prepared. I swear he's getting more pale. Where's his eye gone again? <laughs> What's happening with that? Maybe he keeps trying to disguise it with mechanoid tech and I keep making him... You gotta be proud. Stand proud, Doug. Show them who you really are. Oh, finally. Holy crap. Oh, obviously, we don't need to start recruiting. We could just release them now. That's fine. Um, Let's just do that then. Prisoner and release... That should just sit you right back outside, and then you're back in the colony. Thank you for joining us. Can I take your clothes? Because that recon armor would be better use for, um, anyone. Honestly. Give it to Frog. Frog can't die. Give it to Doug? Give it to Doug. It really lend itself a little bit more to the whole mecha theme he's got going on. How does he look now? Oh, yeah. Horrible is the answer. <laughs> I'm going to pop down a quick styling station, and then... Inevitably regret it, as I always do when they give themselves horribly questionable haircuts. There you go. That looks better. Good work, Locutus of Dog. Then about the smoke pot belt. Oh, it's an explosive belt. A belt with explosives. I think we're going to take that off. That's all right. <laughs> oh, just attack already. Just attack. I hate sitting here waiting. Let's build some more military mechs for Dog. You know what? Let's commit to it. Um, throw throw another one out there. Oh wow, he's really starting to feel like the, like the mech guy now, huh? That's worked really well. And a new little fella for him too. There you go. Might build the other gestator as well, because I imagine when we defeat this thing, we get the next level of mech tech. We'll be able to build different mechs, and I want to I want to test them all out. I want to see what they've got to offer us. Oh, hello there, a fire company. Would you like to buy a copious amount of leather? I don't know, uh, three thousand or so, maybe th maybe another thousand on top of that. So for a bit of medicine, a bit of plasteel, all the steel they've got. Thank you. Have you got any components? I'll trade. I'll, honestly, I'll just take everything you've got. Everything of value, hand it over. This is a robbery, a fur-based robbery, and not like the ideology series. That was a that was a fur-based robbery, but in like a different. Like a different way. Uh, do we want anything else? I think that's fine. We want a copious amount of Yorkshire Terriers. <laughs> Boom. There you go. That should help keep things going for a little while. 27 Medicine 2. Thought that was a pretty good purchase, seeing as we've got a Diabolos coming soon. And there we go. One medical center. Obviously, we need to go to more medicine before we can really do much with this. Oh, we can do a bioregen cycle. Do we have two glutes of medicine? No. You're a damn liar. <laughs> you got my hopes up there for a second. I thought I could finally patch little Doug up. Get rid of all of these scars. Not, in fact, if we were able to do that, it would completely clear them up. Oh, my God. Wait, one of these conditions? I thought it was all of them. Wow. I, I mean, to be fair, I never do it because I thought it was terrible. And it turns out that's right. That's probably why I never do it. Brain wiring. Yay. One of these will be complete. Why the hell would I go to all that trouble of replacing that scars when I'm just about to research? Oh, turns out we've already got it. Why would I remove all those scars when I could just research stone skin glands? Oh. Why would I... <laughs> One day, I promise. There you go. Stone skin glands for Doug. Maybe just an armor skin gland. Oh, I don't want to... I mean, he's also our best crafter. I don't want to reduce his speed down too much. Oh, doesn't noticeably alter the user's appearance. But it's so good, isn't it? And it wouldn't actually slow him down that much either. Compared to, say, the stone skin gland, which is a... I mean, it's not that much of a reduction. I just don't want to affect Doug's beauty. Because he's such a looker right now. What a lovely party. I mean, I can barely see it beneath all the bloody speech bubbles. We could be fighting a giant mechanoid anytime soon, but I suppose I'll... I'll leave them... Ah. Well, that answers that question. <laughs> Great timing. An ultra-heavy mech from the Yorthman Mech Hive has come to eradicate you along with escorts. Uh, eradicate me along with escorts, or... It's come to eradicate us and it has escorts with it. Please clarify. Hello! Uh, maybe draft everybody up before I start looking at the very fancy death bot. Oh. Oh, uh, it looks fairly scary, I suppose. What do you do? 
Hellsphere Cannon. An ultra-high power energy pulse projector designed for siege breaking. The Hellsphere Cannon must hold a bead on its target for several seconds while charging before it unleashes a devastating tsunami of power. Boy, I too love creative writing. Can we just bait them out with something? Um, Frog, what's the range on your gun? We need someone who's a fast runner. Dog! Doug's a fast runner, and to be fair, I could send the Mechanator... I could send the little, uh, what is it called? Militor droid out. Maybe you could go and bait it out. What sort of range are we talking about on that thing? Oh, it's pretty shit, isn't it? In fact, melee would... Would kind of cheese it. Militor! What is it doing? Ah, oh, there we go. There we are. All right, okay, come, come, come join Doug. Okay, let's move forward a little bit more. Don't go too crazy. Oh! Just get within range and give it a, give it a blast. Wow, nowhere near. Get a little closer. I just want to do it maybe enough to try and bait it through the kill box. Will that work? Okay, careful, careful, careful with my careful with my boy dog. Ah, okay. Shoot the shoot the big fella. There you go. Ah. What do we do? We just kite it. Ah, I see. That's what you do with it. Maybe kill the little fellas then. Oh god, that's a big explosion. Wowie. Uh forget about your militia there, dog. I mean, this is a sacrificial militia. It's down already. Um, are they going to keep coming? They can still see Doug. Oh, Doug can see them. My god, I thought they'd hit Doug down for a second. Oh, I don't know why. I know it was aiming at the militia. I thought they'd just gone for Doug. Scared the shit out of me. Doug, get out of there. See if we can bait them over. Go through the kill box. Okay, wait, wait, wait. hang on. Stay within range. Stay within range. Just keep baiting them down. Get a few shots off. Okay, run, run, run. Nice, good hit, good hit. And let's just keep bringing them through. And hopefully they'll give chase. In fact, if you could kill a couple from where you are right now, that'd be good. That'd be very nice. Okay, come down here. Get behind cover and maybe blast a, blast a volley off. Nice, good work, dog. They're going for melee. What are they doing? Just go watch, watch out for the big guy. This is going to work perfectly. Just watch out for the big fella. The big fella moves faster than the little fellas, though, which is a little bit concerning. If we could kill maybe a couple of these before they get close. Oh, God. Okay, now come back to here. Shit. Oh, no. You know what, dog? Get a, get a bit more of a head start there, fella. That's getting a little dangerous. That's getting a little dangerous. Okay. And maybe... No, maybe just run. Maybe we just run. Maybe we just run. I'm not I'm not gambling with dog. I love dog. Now, this is where we will, might be able to get a couple of shots off, and then we're going to have to run like hell. Here it comes. Blast it. Kill it dead. Oh. Well. Brilliant. And... And Okay, it's kind of tanky. I was expecting it to be what? Do we do we hold stand your ground? Oh, don't stand your ground. That's a silly idea. <laughs> we could have stood our ground, I reckon. I'm not gambling. Oh yeah, no, we easily could have. Oh man, that was piss easy. I thought that'd be way harder. Well done, team. Take the afternoon off, except for Doug, who gets to commit horrible atrocities. All it did was a little bit of a blast. Ooh, a signal chip. Hello. Study dog. Dog, study the chip. Study the chip, dog. We can't resurrect that. We can only resurrect little mechanoids, right? Resurrect light mechanoids. So as long as it's not completely destroyed, it can be resurrected. Can we resurrect the, the little militants under dog's con- Dog, dog. <laughs> under dog's control? There's your next series right there. Animal militants. Uh, animal, animal mechanators. Can we resurrect them under dog's control is a better question. Let's make sure we're not shredding mechanoids automatically. And I guess let's just blast them on the floor in here so I can keep track a little bit easier of what we've actually got. Let's see if we can bring those back. That would save uh, gestating them for ages again. Is that... No. No, 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 no. Not like this, not like this, not like this. Run, nice wolf. Run, nice wolf. Do the velociraptor. Don't let this meme. No, no, no. Don't let this be. This is a meme. This is a meme. This is a meme. This is a meme. This is a meme, though. For God's sake. I, I can't fucking win. I cannot win. I give up. I give up. That name's banned. <laughs> That's banned forever. <laughs> Oh man, they've actually they've come through into the base. Honestly, Ice Wolf probably stood no chance. Honestly, I just draft I draft everybody up. Turns out there's a lot of hungry dinosaurs out there. Uh, officially stronger than the Diabolus. Yeah, you better run. Oh, it's, I presume Doug is going to be absolutely mortified by the fact his child was just ripped apart 
by a velociraptor. Uh, to be honest, he's probably more upset about the fact that his mechanoid was ripped apart by a velociraptor. Put Ice Wolf on Ice Wolf. Because I'm going to resurrect him. I'm not having this meme perpetuate any further. Dog can get your man. Put him in the freezer. Oh, no. <laughs> not the stinky pond. <laughs> That's fucking gold. <laughs> Why won't he bury his son? Bury your bury your son. Bury Ice Wolf. What's he? He's trying to put him in the refrigerator. What the fuck are you doing, man? Bury your son. Put him in the coffin. Can see what? No. Hall Ice Wolf. This is cursed. I can't even just keep him to try and resurrect him. The game will not let me. I, it's forcing me to put him on the butcher table. Maybe maybe they can't get access to it. Did I build it the wrong way around? That's always possible. Are you... Are you happy because you're looking on the... Ah. Uh ah, -huh. uh -huh, it's crazy. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, does it? I mean, he's happy to see the body, but he's not... Oh, this doesn't... Why can you not put your kid in the coffin? I don't understand. This is very bizarre. There we go. That helmet didn't really do much, did it? So sad. A depressed dice. Oh, I mean, he's not that upset. Again, he was quite, he's quite happy about this. An, an engraving on this sarcophagus illustrates Ice Wolf Slate being killed without emotion or expression. A male watches silently in the lower part of the image. The subjects are in front of a terrorist. The representation tells the story of Ice Wolf being killed. Fucking hell, that was a curveball. Terrorist velociraptors and mechanator dogs. There's a future series right there. I didn't even have to try anymore. It just writes itself. Standard mech tech unlocked. There you go. And then we've got a... Okay, so we do have to research again afterwards. Fine. I think this room is very much going to outgrow. Because, I mean, look at how many other machines there are. Large mech recharger, subcore soft scanner, large mech gestator. This is not going to be big enough. So we're going to have the married couple share a lab. Ming was going to be in charge of the biotech division. She's very good at intellectual, to be fair. She's been researching all of this to begin with. A regular medical kind of sucks, but honestly, it's good enough. It's it's fine. She's good enough to be in charge as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to put a couple more recharges here. And we'll also re- Oh, you can't reinstall it. Oh, boo. You can't reinstall that either. Why? Wait, you- uh, I like moving my bases around. Don't make me commit like this. And along with balancing this lab out a little bit, I want to throw down a couple of these growth vats, especially given that Ming has another baby on the way. You know, turn it into an actual useful colonist rather than waiting for years and years. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Maybe in a growth vat, Ice Wolf would have learned how to fight velociraptors. Standard mech tech. Here we go. You can get signatures where you're using to summon the Diabolus threat. Okay. Oh, so we need to actually summon more of those to actively build some of the buildings. By the sounds of it. Or maybe not. Pollution pump. Ooh. Oh. So he cleans polluted terrain. Oh. <laughs> I thought it would be the other way around. I wanted to spread pollution, damn it. I think we'll throw it in the large mech gestator there, because that seems like a pretty perfect place for it. Large mech recharger. We'll throw down one on each side. I don't think we'll need that, but um make things nice and even, won't it? Uh, maybe not. Maybe there's not going to be enough room. Maybe we throw down the subcore soft scanner on that side instead. There you go. What's a mech band antenna? Uh, when activated, it sends out a powerful mech signal pulse, which will attract an ultra-heavy feral mechanoid. Is that for the next tier of, of dugs? Yes, there you go. Cannot summon the war queen. Oh, can't I? Should I be plugging that into the comms console or just chucking it out? I guess I'll just chuck it out anywhere. Fine. I'll put it right in front of the front door. Oh! Was that it? They've already arrived. Bloody hell, that was fast. I haven't even built it yet. Oh, shit. That's a bigger raid. Wowee. Five centipedes already. Subcore soft scanner is a pod with thousands of tiny tissue probes and high-energy brain scanner. When a person is inserted, the system uses the probes and scanner to sense a neural psychic pattern that it can analog transfer to the new standard tier mechanoid subcore. Good God, that's a lot of sci-fi techno babble. Subcores of mechanoid brains producing any mechanoid requires one standard tier subcores produced by the soft scanner can only power standard tier mechanoids. Well, so to cut a long story short, it sounds like we scan our people's brains and create a mechanoid core from that that we can use to create the more powerful mechanoids. Then it said at the end there, which I caught with my eyes, higher tier subcores can be created by building a subcore rip scanner. Now, if I'm to infer anything from that, I would presume that the next tier of mechanoids above this we need to act 
actively sacrifice people to pre create calls for, right? That sounds amazing. If not, slightly horrifying. If not, slightly perfect for our weird uh, cyborg dog that we've got going on right now. And we could start the antenna up, but I feel like I might save that for tomorrow's episode. Because I have a feeling we've already overran today no matter what. We can just... Or we can start tomorrow's episode by doing that. Just summon the queen immediately. The mech queen versus the mech king. He's not that good. He's just got a fork left. <laughs> wow. Thanks for joining me here today in RimWorld. You're very normal pokey game to end things with. Thank you for bearing with me as well, especially to the patrons over the past couple of days. Finally have the new completed list that they have finally finished. Thank you, Patreon. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this series. A bit more of a simple one. It's going to be plenty of ideas for future playthroughs, though. My ideas list has been well and truly topped up, and I wasn't even done with all the old ideas I had before. So we've got lots and lots and lots and lots to do. Very hoping I can start a new second channel series soon. Um, have been found out there will be more delays with, with moving and uh, uh, finally getting somewhere to live that's, you know, all above board and not exceptionally dangerous right now. But that's for the future. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, of course, to Sandy McCracken, I don't know why, just vibe, Matthew Capon, Isolated Entropy, A Box, Cat Lord, Hans Crack, Ryan Koenig, Vash, Oaxor, Rambler Uno, Josh Lunt, Spongy1312, Feather Black, and Lost Eden42, Rage Dragon, Tristan Flanagan, Brandon Watoniak, and TG Taps, along with everyone else, of course, the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. There will be a Patreon post coming soon. I know I keep saying that, but it, it's... There's too much to do. And not enough time for everything. Thank you as well to Ineffective Guevara, JC2406, John the Roxena, Mental Morbid, Snowy1237, Ken Buchanan, Raylan Gar, Knight Lucia, Prismo, Surge Devilez, Sleep is Boring, Walter White, Zep Zep, Tom Naylor, Gaming Stuff, Lassero, Yolo Ninja Pim, and Illuminatist as well. Stay tuned. I'll we'll start you over on the second channel if that takes your interest. Go big Grigner Industry. Although that episode went up this morning. Uh, but if you want to go see some industrialization in Stardew, that's your game. My goal is to brew as, as much beer as possible. Enough beer that I need to flood the valley. See you all there. <laughs>